Caroline Quinton, it's been brought to my attention that the one person that gives away the most spoilers is you. Oh, really? Who said that? Oh. Oh, my friend Charlie. Did I, did I give away spoilers? I went to get changed. She's Sorry. deflecting from what she said. Yeah, really? You look, is this vintage? No, but I will talk. Yeah. Anyway. Charlie, um, says, Charlie says that you... Says I give away spoilers. In yeah. fairness, I think... You know when they say the pot calls the kettle black? I think she... I think we're both pretty overexcited about our storyline, so we perhaps say more than we should. Well, listen, season two, when you find out there's a season two, I remember talking to you at the launch of all the Sky News shows, and you were like... I just didn't feel cool amongst all these people. And I was just like, I still don't feel cool. <laughs> How was it to go back in? Because you're all mates now. It's great. It's great. I just, um, you know, I, it, the chances of falling in with 10 people that you just really want to hang out with every day and then you do get to hang out with them every day is so slim. They're so divine. When you spoke to them, they're so lovely. They're, I know they really are. They're great. And we laugh a lot. And even on the big days when the time loop is going wrong and everyone's screaming across the studio and things are going, you know, and there are stunts going on. After when when the ca- when they say cut, we have a really good laugh. I can see the energy. You guys all genuinely are like, you're forgetting about your interviews. You're seeing each other and like, ah! It is nice to see each no, other. But hey, listen, um, Papa's dressing room, he didn't ask for it. He keeps saying he didn't ask for it. There was a running machine. Yeah. This season, yeah. if I were to come into your dressing room, yes. Caroline, what is the strangest, coolest thing I would find? Oh, in my dressing room is quite boring. It'd probably be um, a gardening magazine. <laughs> <laughs> it's not cool, but it's what I'm interested in. So that would be that would be, it'd be something to do with gardening because that's what's my hobby. Yeah. I don't know, Wes. Maybe the other thing, actually, no, the other thing I do have in there quite a lot is um, again not very cool, but um, art stuff. I draw and paint all the time. So. Oh, yeah. I love that. That's so cool. Hey, also I want to know. Um, in the show, it's all about going back into the past and stopping major um, disasters from occurring. If there was one memory from the past you could press pause on and keep reliving without anyone ever touching it or spoiling it for you, if it's not too personal, what would it be? It would be a day on the river, Helford, in Cornwall, with my husband and my two children fishing for mackerel off the back of the boat, and they were about five and eight, something like that. And it was one of those summer days, you know, that you remember for the whole of your life. You remember the, how it smelt, how the children were, what you ate, what the sea sounded like, the birds. It was that, it's, it's really deep within me and it would be straight back to that. Oh my God, that's such a beautiful memory. I can kind of envision it. Your character where she has the best one-liners. This season, what was your favorite thing that she got to say? <laughs> oh no, it's crazy. You know, it was, but it's really this year, we see a side of her that is so um, unrevealed and I don't want to give away too much um, but but she 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 speaks honestly about feelings and uh, family and the world and how we treat each other and I can't I won't quote it because it would be inappropriate but but you, you get to hear who she really is and not just a boss not just someone who's in charge but you get to see a side of her that is, I, I hope, and it certainly was for me when I read it, is surprising. And season one, at the end of it, obviously left us feeling quite conflicted and quite cross with a certain person. At the end of season two, how am I going to feel? <laughs> um, you are exhausted, I think. I think you'll feel exhausted. I think you'll feel exhausted on so many levels because it's an emotional roller coaster, but it's also... Um, this, it ends with a, a kind of massive um, denouement, so it's going to be it's going to be quite a ride actually for people that have been with the show since the beginning. I think it's um, you, these people that you've come to care about, you see them under duress, real duress, and some sights. I'm wondering, you you were quite excited when we were at the launch about doing this. How does it feel to do a show, to be back on our screens and for people to have embraced it so much? And every single person I spoke to, they adore you. How has it been for you? Have you enjoyed this? It's honestly, and I think I said to you last time I saw you, that it, you know you don't expect this to come along. You kind of think your career will go into a nice gentle twilight decline. And actually, I'm suddenly working with some of the best actors around, actually, truthfully. And having the most fun and doing really exciting writing. I mean, uh, uh, Joe Barton's writing is absolutely thrilling every day you do something thrilling and to be honest uh, that's an unexpected delight and I I'm I'm really happy about it I'm really I feel 
And I really love them. <laughs> they're great. And you're a very fashionable gang. Like nobody's dressed bad. They're so they're so cool. So that's are you. So cool. <laughs> that's so cool. Thank you for the chat. I can't wait to watch season Thanks, two. Thank you. Keep sharing it. the secrets. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs>